As well as my love of weather, um, I actually have a love of mathematics. So that was my original love in life. The thing that I'm actually most known for is, mm. is looking um, at creating these global uh, data sets of information of temperature and rainfall extremes. But um, I guess in Australia what I've focused on most is how those things might change in the future, depending on the trajectories that we take with greenhouse gas emissions, for example. This is quite a strange one, but when I was younger, I watched a lot of television, and uh, Quincy um, he was something that I really loved, which was the old 1980s show with the, the sort of pathologist in it. So um, I actually wanted to be a pathologist, and to that, that was actually so in it, or or a forensic scientist. So that was kind of the the alternate universe. When anybody thinks about the work that we do, they think we have an agenda to meet a, a green target or something like that. But in actual fact, that's not actually how the job works. And all we're trying to do is understand the problem from a scientific perspective. In terms of a misperception, it's that somehow I'm, I'm not um, a, um, an objective scientist. But the best part of the, the job and the day is actually, for me, um, interacting with other people um, and that's why I love going into work. I don't have the answers to everything and actually other people view problems from a, a different angle and can have really good ideas and when you bring all that together you really have a good chance of solving uh, problems. <laughs> Good <laughs> <laughs>